Carmine Carini was a convicted robber whose weapon of choice in one spree was a machete. He was the son of a locked-up mobster, an absent father who had given him little more than a name. He was also a father himself, starting over in the straight life, a proud and meticulous florist who posted pictures of his Mother's Day arrangements on Facebook. But it was how Mr. Carini's life ended that brought broader attention to his colorful, complicated story, when, on September 2, he was found wrapped in a blue tarp and floating in the Mill Basin Inlet of Jamaica Bay, tied to a cinder block intended to weigh his body down. It did not. There may have been any number of possible motives for killing Mr. Carini, 35, tucked in the folds of his or his father's criminal history but the truth remained hidden. Then on Wednesday, three months after the killing, two suspects were arrested, twin brothers whom Mr. Carini had known for many years. They were caught halfway across the country after a high-speed chase that ended inside a Walmart. With the arrests came the realization that nothing in the history of the victim or his father could have predicted what the police said was his bizarre end at the hand of old friends. Mr. Carini was born in 1982 under a cloud of crime. His father, also Carmine Carini, an associate of the Gambino family, went to prison when his son was three years old, convicted of murdering a record store owner. A second son, Vincent, had been born just days before his arrest. In 2007, new evidence would show it was not the elder Mr. Carini but his cousins who had committed the murder. When the elder Carmine was released from prison that year, his namesake son was 24, and Vincent, 22. They had grown up fatherless, in the shadow of what many considered an exemplary display of Don Tirat on your own fortitude. By then, the younger Carmine was finding his way, for good and bad. Like anyone who grew up without a father, he had to learn his own way to become a man, said Christina Frizone, a girlfriend and the mother of their son. You make mistakes in life, not thinking of the consequences afterwards because you're so young. In 2003, when he was 21, Carmine and another man were arrested in Brooklyn for robbing 12 people in 12 different locations in 60 minutes, using a machete to scare their victims, the police said. They stole $500 Mr. Carini served five years in prison, coming out in 2009 there would not be a reunion with his father. The year before, unable to hold down a job, the elder Carmine Carini, with others, had committed a series of robberies on Staten Island. They were dressed like police officers and targeted specific types of victims, drug dealers and gambling establishments. I tried my best to be a good citizen for myself and my sons, he told a judge at his sentencing in 2010, according to a court transcript. He had been living with Vincent. Me and my son had a nice apartment and did long-awaited things together. Then I lost my job things got worse by the week. He said he had stupidly agreed to commit the robberies, and he wanted to apologize, especially to my sons. He was sent back to prison for six more years. On the outside, young Carmine seemed to be making good use of his freedom.